The name of this one is the Farmer and the Lord. While resting the other evening by the side of the road, I saw an old farmer in a field that he just hoed. Oh, his face was all brown and wrinkled from the sun and the wind. And he was talking to the Lord just like he'd be talking to his best friend. Well, sir, he said with his voice calm and quiet, them corn tassels need shucking, but I got no strength to tie. We had no rain in so long that, well, the fields is mighty dusty. And it's been so unbearably hot that, well, the kids were even getting fussy. Now that grass down in the pasture, it should be knee high. Oh, if we could just have a little shower, Lord. It might keep the cow from going dry. Oh, but listen to me talking. You think I wasn't grateful? Why, if you didn't know me so well, Lord, you'd think that I was down on hateful. Oh, you'd think I forgot about that new calf that you sent and the money in the mail that took care of the rent. And Mama's cough is better, and uh, Johnny's home from the Navy. And that good Sunday dinner of hot chicken and dumplings and gravy. And that new preacher you sent us, Lord, he sure is a fine young man. Why, he's just converting them sinners to be the band. Well, I guess I'll mosey on home now, Lord. I I won't take no more of your time. I guess there's plenty of folks hereabouts that's waiting to ring your line. So evening to you, Lord, and watch over us tonight. And don't you worry about us now, Lord, because everything is going to be all right. Well, it may be time for all of us to get down on our knees and Talk to the Lord because He is our best friend. And to thank Him for all the blessings we have.